O2 wanted to do uh, an exhibition of how offices have changed over the uh, last 50 years, going back to the 1950s. And they approached me because I've written a history of work. I've also written another book called The Future of Work. And I think they knew, thought I knew a little bit about the subject. Yeah, we're in the 1950s, 1960s here. So think uh, that post-war era, which was the golden age of, of work, so what a lot of people thought was the golden age. And um, it was a very male environment. So we have things like uh, uh, the ration book, which would represent, uh, uh, which people would still have uh, right up to 1954. A lot of people don't think that wartime rationing lasted that long, but it did. Um, and uh, you know, I remember this book, uh, Dale Carnegie's How to Win Friends and Influence People, um, being one of the management books when I first started uh, at my career. Uh, and the manual typewriter, which was the mainstay of any office desk. Uh, I, this is a Remington. I had a, a Remington which was slightly older than this when I started. Yes, yeah, so now we've come into the 1970s and we're starting to get an office that's um, been a, a little bit more colourful. I never had a telephone quite like this, but I mean, the main thing about it is that it's plastic. Um, but um, you know, you're starting to get more interesting colours coming in. And for the first time, uh, executive toys. This is a, a Newton's cradle. And um, I don't know if you can see this, but. I remember this being on, uh, on TV on Tomorrow's World and being blown away by it. And of course, any aspiring executive have to have something like that on their desk. Uh, on my planner here, I've got 1987, which was the year of uh, Big, Big Bang. And uh, uh, if you remember the, uh, that character, the Harry Hen Enfield character with loads of money. Um, uh, you're starting to have the first PCs on desks at that time. Uh, often, for people like myself who are writing, described as word processors. And uh, you would be using um, typically a, a um, possibly an in-house in package. This is a, an IBM computer, so it looks to be set up with MS-DOS. Oh, we're into the 90s now and uh, the PCs are improving because we've got Windows here. This is an early version of Windows. We've also got um, post-it notes, so the vision of the 1970s and 80s of the paperless office hasn't quite happened uh, because people are um, uh, using paper still, they're still using fax machines, they're still getting a lot of post. Other ideas like the... Um, uh, the hot desking idea came, and it didn't quite disappear, but it certainly didn't, uh, it wasn't taken up everywhere. It, it, you could say it was more of a fashion than, than anything, because people do like to have their personal space.